Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It is me, the Millennial Investor, nineteen fourteen. I am back in this thing for the one time. I haven't uh, posted and made a, a nice, good video. Last couple of videos I made was dividend growth videos, dividend portfolio updates. But today, you, you guys already know I'm I'm always trying to put out some content to make you think. Uh, remember, whatever I post. With, with, with regards to calculations and uh, ETFs and, and stocks and whatnot. Remember, all this is just due to educational purposes only. Uh, please make sure you do your research first before you go out and, and, and buy these stocks, implement this strategy. Just know that I've been investing for the past seven plus years. I've made mistakes. I've lost money. I've made money in the stock market. So if you uh, are a new investor, make sure you, you do all the research that you plan on doing and, and need to. And just remember this is due to educational purposes only. This is not me telling you to go out and do it. So how can you make $1,500 per month passively? We're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about how you can make $1,500 per month passively and hopefully retire on $300,000. If you want to know how to do it, your boy, Kadero Hudson, the millennial investor, 1914, about to put you up on game. Normally, I give you a stock or ETF for you to grow. We grow up, we grow that money, right? And then we flip it. Today, we're going to do the same thing. Here we go. So I have some data right here. The goal and before we start on this list, the goal is, so you're, you're going to start with $500. You're going to start with $500. You're going to contribute $500 per month. Give, we're going to give it 10 to 20 years to grow. We're not even going to need that much, but we're going to need, if you could just, you know, as a person, sacrifice, let's say 10 years, just 10 years of just investing $500 per month. And this is, uh, to the side. This is you also are contributing to your 401k uh, match uh, to your company's match, right? This is you invest in extra more, right? So you invest into your 401k to your company's match, whatever three, four, five percent, whatever your company top match is, right? And then you you're gonna have a taxable account like this because when you invest in, into uh, retirement accounts. You invest into it right now for the growth of right now into the future so that in the future you pay the taxes, but you, you're not going to be able to access that money. It's a what? 59 and a half. When you invest into your taxable account, yes, you have to pay uh, capital gains or if you sell a stock or any type of dividends now. But if you invest like more growth assets, growth ETFs, growth stocks ish, it's going to grow. And you don't have to pay tax until what? Until you sell. You're going to contribute $500 per month. And then you have 20 years. And right here, this is the key point right here. You're going to have your, whatever you're going to invest into is going to grow 50% per year. Now you're like Cadero. What grows 50% per year? That's, that is crazy. Outside of like Bitcoin, right? Let me put you up on game. Here are, the top 10 performance stocks for the last five years, right here. The best performance stocks for the last five, uh, the last five years, right? And let's say you're, what you're going to do is that you're, you're not going to just going to just pick one stock. We're going to pick five stocks because again, $500 to start out with $500 per month. So we're going to pick from this list right here. NVIDIA, we're going to put $100 in NVIDIA. We're going to put $100 into Builders First uh, Source, Inc. We're going to put $100 into Kinsale. That's three. We're going to put $100 into AMD. That's four. And then whatever whatever the other stock that you want to put in, maybe Celsius, which is the drinking company. Maybe you want to put into right here, Vertif uh, Holdings. Maybe you want to, to put it into VST. Or Eli, Eli Lilly. You pick and choose, right? But just say, just say you you put it into a hundred dollars into those into those five stocks, right? That shows right here that these stocks, let's say like Nvidia, over the past five years have produced one thousand eight hundred and sixty nine return. 
Kinsale, which is an insurance company, 614% over the last five years. AMD, 568% return over the, over the uh, five years. If you was to do just a quick math, just just, just a quick math, not, not even going to waste you guys' time, just NVIDIA alone, I mean uh, AMD alone, if you do 568, 568 divided by five, that's 113%. I, I just put, I just put, 50 it really it, it did double but we, we, we're going to put 50 on the conservative side but that shows you right there that you know, if you uh for one if you would have put 100 100 dollars into amd for, just for one year the following year your, your money would have doubled and then your money would have doubled again and then your money will have will have doubled again and you you you, you get it you, you get it the goal is to make fifteen hundred dollars per month to live off of three hundred thousand. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now I just we just showed you that list of stocks, right? Boom. You start off with five hundred dollars and I'm pretty sure you're gonna hit hit your goal, especially th- this year alone. This year alone NVIDIA is up like two hundred percent. AMD is up to like whatever, right? Meta is up like thirty percent this year already. And it's not even th- Half of the year, but we we didn't hear me. I just showed you. Let's you pick five stocks. You do what you want to do. You put one hundred dollars into each stock. You put five hundred dollars per month into this portfolio. That portfolio, boom. Let's say after eight years, because I'm, I'm pretty sure you probably hit this the way it's been growing. You probably would hit it by year six. But let's say by year eight, you have three hundred eight thousand dollars. Now you're like Cadero. How do I convert that and in, 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 into live off of right? Because don't these advisors say that I need I need to uh, I need a million dollar portfolio, five hundred dollars dollar five hundred thousand dollar portfolio? Not exactly. If you want to, which that's what I plan on want to do, but you don't have to. Especially if you if you don't plan on living in in the U.S. Let me show you how just real quick. Boom, right here we have Je- JepQ, JepQ. Has a share price of fifty three, fifty nine per share for JepQ. JepQ pays monthly, and it pays forty three cent per share per month, right? So out of the three hundred thousand dollars, it was three hundred eight, but we just say two three hundred thousand dollars. You're gonna take two hundred thousand dollars right here, divided by the share price of JepQ, which Put you at three thousand seven hundred thirty-two shares of JepQ. You do this. You do this times this. You are you are at roughly sixteen hundred dollars a month. Now, are you telling me that you or anybody can't live off? You can't live off sixteen hundred dollars a month. Now, if you live in New York, if you live in New York or on the East Coast, yeah, you probably would need. A lot more. So it's still two hundred thousand dollars. Let's do this real quick. Let's say you put two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. If you put two hundred and fifty thousand dollars into JebQ and uh so you have fifty thousand dollars left over, but you you'll be living right here, two thousand dollars a month. Now for me, I can I can live off, honestly I can live off the uh the sixteen hundred dollars per month because my mortgage and all that and, and my expenses is real low. I'm not the common US American with a lot of debt. Only thing I have is my mortgage and my student loan. Everything else I pay down my debt. But right here, if you let's say that you ha- had some money and you paid off your mortgage or whatnot, and all you have to do is just pay taxes and all that, you can live off of Two thousand dollars. I'm pretty sure you can honestly live off of sixteen hundred dollars. So two hundred thousand dollars right here, sixteen hundred dollars a month. You do the three the three hundred dollars minus two hundred dollars. You have a hundred thousand dollars. You take the hundred dollars, hundred thousand dollars. Right. You either can take the the uh, slow and steady route. You can invest into a VU, and then just let it ride in, in VU. Right. You can just let you can just let it ride in vu. You would get paid. I'm gonna highlight. You would get paid sixteen hundred dollars a month passively, right? 
and you'll be sweet. And guess what? Let's say you was living in Rio. Let's see. Let's say you was real, living in Berlin, uh, living in Thailand. I was like, then guess what? This is sweet for people who invest to crypto, who got Bitcoin. You know, uh, not only do you have just money or a you know side hustle, side job. Guess what? If you had you know some Bitcoin, some crypto, and you and, you, and guess what? You sold it. And as Bitcoin is at close to seventy thousand dollars now. What if, what if one Bitcoin goes up to three hundred thousand, and you want to live? Boom! You can sell that one Bitcoin, and if you got other Bitcoin, other crypto, you just let that ride and let it grow, right? And you and you dump it into Jeb Q, right? And you get you'll be get paid sixteen hundred dollars a month, and you could just live in a, in a, in a different com- in a different country, and you'd be good. Now, you know you like Kadero. What do you do with the uh the other hundred thousand? Now, the other hundred thousand, you either can take the passive route. Which you could just just have it in vu and just let it ride, or got an example right here, or real quick, you can keep that hundred thousand into those stocks of B B L D R, Nvidia, AMD. Uh, you can do Eli Lilly, you can do Meta, you can do um, Applied Materials, Lamb Research. Just give you some flavor, right? Some flavor. If you just now is if, if this is in a bull market, now if it, if it goes in, in a bear market, and we, you know it will go down. But let's say you just you had you had it in in this particular folio for this additional three years, that hundred thousand dollars will grow in three years to three hundred and thirty-seven thousand. Now imagine, now imagine you took one fifty of that and put it more into JebQ. And then in that other other hundred and fifty, you just put it into VU or whatnot, and you just let it grow. And let's say let's say you took that all of this right here, you took one you took one fifty and you uh put it into to more into JebQ, which you already get paid pay, getting paid sixteen hundred dollars per month. So I'm pretty sure it would it would jump it would jump to you getting paid like twenty five hundred a month, right? And then uh you take fifty thousand dollars out. Just for you to live off of for that year, right? Just pay any property tax or anything you know you may need travel, all this and that, right? Probably won't even need the whole fifty thousand. And then the other what, the other hundred thousand, hundred twenty five, fifty thousand, do the math, whatever. Just let it grow. So overall, all in all, this is how you're able to just retire off three hundred thousand to get paid roughly fifteen hundred. I actually give you more sixteen hundred dollars per month to if you want to use that six hundred sixteen hundred dollars per month in the U.S. Boom, you can. Or you can take that sixteen hundred dollars per month and you can live abroad. And if you are making anything more than a thousand dollars passively, sweet, it's golden. Because really, uh, a lot of these places you can get a one or two bedroom for roughly like $850. And then as long as you got money for like, you know, fund, toiletries, groceries and everything else. And then as long as you have some money saved up for rough times and it's growing. And then also let's say you're doing uh, YouTube and let's, let's say you got a side business, you're winning. So that's how you're able to make $1,500 per month passively and to retire and for you to be able to retire of 300,000. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. I love it. Oh, and just in case you want to see the list of stocks again, there you go. You got Celsius, you got Nvidia, Builders First Source, you got Enphase, you got Tesla, you got uh, Kensell Capital, AMD, you have Eli Lilly, Vistra Corp. Um, and then if you really, really want to get funky, you got Palantir, uh, William Sonoma has been killing it lately. And I think that's it of stocks to tell you and to show you. Um, and as you see right here for the last 10 years, stocks that has been like crushing it and been killing it is Land Research, Cadence, Systems, Broadcom, NVIDIA, AMD, and Celsius. Celsius Holdings has been popping up in, in pretty much every list. So, hope you guys enjoyed my video. Peace.